Asus ROG Strix Force RTX 2070OHG Gaming Review Asus isn't above the laws of thermodynamics. This card's TU106 GPU is still rated for 175 watts, and its waste heat is dissipated by fans blowing through a sink, just like other Force RTX 2070s. The difference is that Asus starts with a larger sink. Whereas NVIDIA's Force RTX 2070 Founders Edition registers roughly 2 pounds 2 ounces, 968 grams, on our scale, the ROG Strix Force RTX 2070OHG Gaming nearly hits 2 pounds 11 ounces, 1,210 grams. The card sits on a much larger PCB and is topped by a much longer heat sink, so we're not surprised that it's so much heavier. The ROG Strix Sports PCB is massive at 11, 28.6 cm, long. Asus Thermal Solution overhangs that, taking the total length to almost 12, 30 cm. From the bottom of the key connector to the card's top edge, you're looking at roughly 5 and 1 8, 13 cm. And from the back plate to the thickest part of Asus fan shroud, you need about 2, 5 cm, of clearance. Some folks like to call this a 2.5 slot design, but expect the ROG Strix Force RTX 2070OHG Gaming to monopolize 3 expansion slots. Most of the card's thickness comes from its heat sink. The plastic shroud sitting on top of the metal mass is low profile and unobtrusive. It doesn't hang down on the sides and block airflow through the fins. There's enough room to envelop the 90mm wing blade fans accommodate a bit of RGB lighting under strategically cut vent holes, and screw onto the sink. Those fins blow down through an array of vertically oriented fins split into two sections. Both pieces are similarly sized but shaped differently to fit the components underneath them. For any given graphics card family, whether it's the GeForce RTX 2080T or Radeon RX 580, we have a natural tendency to look for the lowest priced model tweak it within reason, and declare a value winner. Once you start paying for factory overclocks, oversized coolers, bundled software, and flashy lighting, that performance per dollar ratio starts slipping. But Asus ROG Strix Force RTX 2070OHG Gaming shows us why it can be worth spending extra for the more elegant solution. A big heat sink and three fan array make it possible to achieve one, higher frame rates, two, lower temperatures, and three, quiet operation, all at the same time. We're mostly ambivalent about this board's software bundle. And its lighting is mere eye candy. Coming up with a marketing name for process automation verges on puffery, which just isn't necessary. Really, what matters to us is performance represented by real data. In this case, ASUS achievements are multifaceted, they show up in our frame rate results our fan speed measurements, and our thermal readings. Even the power consumption charts illustrate how Asus ROG Strix uses less juice than a much cheaper competitor. Expect to pay dearly for those strengths, though. At $630-491, you're looking at the most expensive Force RTX 2070 available. At least in the US, an entry-level Force RTX 2080 is just $70 away. That same step up costs a lot more in the UK. You have to really love Asus' attention to detail for this card to be worth its eye-watering premium. But it's NVIDIA that bears the brunt of this review's bad news. The ROG Strix is priced slightly higher than the Nudge Force RTX 2070 Founders Edition, yet Asus beats the reference design in almost every way. Sure, NVIDIA's Fayboard obeys a lower power target and is physically smaller monopolizing two expansion slots instead of three. But its clock rate gets hit a lot harder under load, its fans rotate quite a bit faster, and we don't care for the 8-pin power connector attached via solder down wires. Further, now that NVIDIA's homegrown solution employs axial fans, the Founders Edition's cooler dumps waste heat back into your case, just like most partner boards. A decked out graphics card like the ROG Strix Force RTX 2070OHG Gaming is always going to have something to prove against lower cost cards in its own class and the cheapest boards one category up, 
specifically, $700 RTX 2080s. But Asus isn't trying to attract value seekers. Rather, the ROG Strix is meant for enthusiasts who want a well-appointed product that doesn't need any manual intervention to optimize its performance attributes. Right out of the box, Asus has us questioning our proclivity for bargain hunting with a well-executed Force RTX 2070. Excellent QHD performance. Low GPU temperature, even under load. Quiet operation. Loaded with options, dual BIOS, configurable lighting, fan connect to, semi-passive operation. Not markedly faster than competing Force RTX 2070s. High price hertz value comparison. Occupies 3 expansion slots. It's hard not to like the Asus ROG Strix Force RTX 2078G gaming dot until you see its price tag. The most expensive 2070 out there does so many things right, though, it's fast, cool, quiet, and loaded with features. If you want a card for QHD gaming that comes dialed in from the factory and will live in a windowed case, this one's ready to rock. Budget-sensitive enthusiasts should look elsewhere, though.